Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you only the great guitar reviews reviewed just for you. And uh, we have uh, one uh, Australian guitar that is just uh, right, in fact two Australian guitars. Yesterday I did the uh, Tommy Emanuel series and today, uh, last night I watched actually Tommy Emanuel in action and it was fabulous, it was spectacular, uh, really an enjoyable experience for me. And um, today I have uh, one... Uh, Australian guitar that just arrived. This is a cold cluck and uh, this cold cluck is made in uh, made in, made in uh, Which part is it made in? I think it looks like Melbourne huh? uh, Made in Melbourne. Uh, this Melbourne is Australia uh, So this is a fat lady fat lady EC BLBL BL stands for Blackwood uh, Blackwood, Tasmanian Blackwood, that is uh, very similar to the koa species that is found in Hawaii. But these are all made in, are all grown uh, uh, the local woods in Australia. And uh, some are really uh, uh, beautiful, there's, there's flame. But this one has a beautiful top coloration, um, a little bit of greens here and stuff like that. Let's get the review started. Basically, you have a Dreadnought series uh, guitar that has a cutaway. The top and the backs are all uh, CNC cuffed. Uh, so, and ra rather than having your normal X brace, this one has like a A-frame brace here, and then an X here, and then one more X here, and one more brace just across. Uh, the tops are about 4.3 mm, I measured, so it's rather thick. Uh, it's thicker than your normal, let's say a normal uh, dreadnought is about 3 mm. This is 4.3. I guess because of the bracing patterns, uh, the brace are very thin and small. And uh, this one has a special pickup where they, they mount the pickup here underneath. And then there's also a fan brace where they glue the brace, the, the, they call it the face pickup on on the brace here, just, just here. Okay, uh, the top back and side, let me let, let you show you this black wood, beautiful black wood and a three piece back, uh, back, one piece here, one piece here with like a maple strip. Uh, the binding is maple that is actually inlaid. Also the uh, maple that is also inlaid on the, on the uh, rosette. Uh, Indy Rosewood fretboard, Indy Rosewood uh, bridge, uh, Tusk saddle and nut. I've upgraded this Tusk saddle and nut to FMI saddle, plastic pins on here. Uh, you got the uh, diamond inlays on the whole fretboard. A uh, lovely uh, CNC cut uh, uh, neck that is maple. Three piece neck, one piece here, one piece here. And you see that volute where they just fit it in uh, over the, uh, the, the neck. So it's here, you can see, three piece mahogany top here and then the maple uh, neck is which is all CNC 44 mm uh, 44 mm nut with uh, gold uh, groover tuners that is uh, beautiful uh, I've fitted the Elixir uh, Prosper Bronze 53 uh, f f lights 1253 let's play my first composition first
stop strumming. different tone from your typical x bass uh, sounding it has um, a lot of bass and I think that there's a slight scoop in the midst uh
So a little bit more. I'm gonna tap all this baby on the third fret so that uh, you can really hear how it sounds. Sounds a little warm, a little scoop in the midst. Uh
Kusana gider. There you go, the uh, Cold Club Fat Lady. I don't know why they call it Fat Lady, but there's just one huge fat sound that is coming from this guitar. Fat Lady 2 uh, with the EC, there is electrical, this is a pickup and a cutaway. EC with the uh, BL, BL means uh, Blackwood, uh, Blackwood, uh, Tasmanian Blackwood that is on this uh, guitar top, back. And side. So the tone is relatively different. You got a maple neck that is on this guitar. Decent uh, pickup with the mic system. You have uh, it's a three way system. You got the under saddle. You got a fan face uh, brace here where they glue it onto one of the brace. And then there's a mic just below this pickup here. I feel that. Uh, maybe the mic placement is not that clear as compared to a Maton, but generally still accept acceptable. So if you're in Singapore, the uh, Cold Club distributor is none other than uh, Music Arc uh, at, at Peninsula. Look for them and they have a relatively uh, wide range of uh, uh, Cold Clubs that are available. And uh, depends on, they have two brands, the Maton and as well as the uh, Cold Clubs. Uh, um, you can try both of them and you decide which one uh, fits your bill, which one uh, tickles your heart and move your wallet. So uh, if you like this review, what you can do is place a comment just below this YouTube. What do you think about this tone? I know this is slightly unique compared to your normal guitars that uh, is available because of the bracing pattern as well as the thick um, top that is 4.3mm against uh, 3mm. Uh, which, uh, let's say, a normal Taylor or Martin uh, 2, 2.8, 2, uh, 3 mm, between 2.8 to 3 mm. Um, nevertheless, this is a well made uh, guitar. It's, it's engineered CNC. In. And if you want to watch more great guitars, is to post, is to subscribe to this channel. Yes, subscribe, come on, please. And give me a thumbs up for this video. And uh, so, if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up and also comment. Uh, till, till my next review, I'm going to say live with passion, play guitar, love, love, joy, peace, health and wealth to be multiplied in your life. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.